I made it 24 hours without smoking, but soon, the uh, damn store open, I was able to get me a cigarette. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I got a cigarette. And I smoked it. And I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna smoke this one and try to go 24 hours again, yeah, whatever. I don't know. But, but now, we in the living room. Got the girl right there, but I'm trying to clean out the bedroom toy bed and the room, bedroom stuff. And I'm sitting here pushing everything out to the living room stuff. And I stepped over the tape here. And my damn leg done snapped back. This one right here, and it's like hurting like crazy. Yeah, I, I was trying to step over to get me some more coffee and fix my bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. I was gonna put some peppers and onions on it. Like, I'm hungry thinking about it now. I ain't eat nothing all night. Not because I'm starving myself, but I wasn't hungry. Now I'm hungry. So, this is crazy, man. It's crazy. So, hopefully, Desire can help me out. teach her how to cook a bacon egg and cheese sandwich hopefully I don't know but we'll see what happened today alright what's up guys can they smooth back with another video yeah it's night time man I slept most of the day away and like I was up until like one o'clock, so and then I try to go back. I went back to sleep around like, yeah, twelve o'clock, one o'clock. I was watching um, Love Country, whatever you call it, Lovecraft Country. I'm lost right now and in the show. I'm on the Asian part. The Asian lady. This part I'm on. Episode 6. I, uh, sorry if I fall asleep during it. But I've seen the um, Conjuring also, so. I was watching that before Lovecraft, whatever. I started watching Lovecraft from so we all up for me, man. Mm, we you. So it's been like, I say about ten hours, ten nine hours without smoking. So I smoke around like eight in the morning. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so it's been like 13 hours. But I think I slept a lot of time. What, what's going to be crazy is like throughout the night. And while I'm up and stuff. No, to be told, right, I've been like real irritable. And my wife, you know, she already like to get me agitated. So now it's like. Because my wife do something, a lot of tricks. I mean, a lot of. Um, she does the trick a lot of women do too, because because a lot of women think they lawyers. They actually say the damn question a whole bunch of different ways. <laughs> they are gonna slip up. Now you think that such and such and such and such. But, mm, well, what you think about it? Mm, but how do you feel about it? But what does it make you feel? 
Yeah. You'd be like, what the fuck? Did you just ask me that? And then she keep calling my name. She'll say my name in a question way. But she never asked me anything. She's like, Jesse. Jesse. Yes, hey. I'd yeah, be like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, what? 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 Yeah, then she don't say nothing. Then she doing this shit on purpose. <laughs> It'd be a funny dude. But. Like what we gotta do? Clean all the bills that sun that was in the backyard. Organizing clothes over there. Pack them up, pack my bags. I figure out where I'm gonna put this on. You play pants. I don't know. Well, what else did Biden do? He broke one of the most cardinal rules of American politics. Standing at the podium at NATO headquarters, this is what he said to the world. Right. I think I'm just taking the knife stands out. I'm start getting ready to um, take stuff out here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright. Alright, guys. So, as y'all know, I smoke cigarettes. I used to drink a lot. I used to smoke a lot of weed. And I stopped doing that. Every now and then, I might have a sip of some wine. Um, I haven't really been drinking beer. I used to drink beer every day and hard liquor every day. And I used to drink it together. Like, I had to have a beer and a bottle. Beers and bottles together. And I had to have my weed and my cigarettes. Um, quite recently, I had some wine, a little bit of wine, but I haven't been drinking it. Like the whole bottle, big ass bottle in one day, it la lasts me. Um, but I don't drink it like that. Um, so. I basically stopped drinking. I stopped smoking weed altogether, really. And the last thing I feel like I gotta do is stop smoking cigarettes. So right now, I just smoke like three cigarettes just now in the span of like an hour. Why? I have no idea why. I bought this pack what, two, three days ago. Probably two days ago. And I got one last cigarette, one last broken cigarette. Think I'm gonna save this cigarette. As a a mental of the day I quit smoking cigarettes. Today is what the nineteenth, I think, of June. That clip from before was we go to the store so like that that was yesterday i think today's 19. so 
My plan is to save this as the day I quit smoking. Or just in case I want another cigarette real quick. Nah. But, so right now, this morning, it's like 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning or something like that. It's bright outside. Plenty of stop smoking cigarettes. <laughs> You know, I got the health channel that I'm putting together, and we doing stuff for the health channel. So, starting with stop smoking, and this is going to be on my regular channel, on the vlog and stuff like that, and we're going to use my experience of quitting smoking into going into the health channel. As you know, health is wealth also, so... It's my journey of quitting smoking, you know, and I'm trying to lose weight. I'm supposed to be at 150, come 5'7". I wanted to get up to 200 pounds. Like, the 200 pounds, because I was kind of, like, skinny, whatever. But the 200 pounds was a long goal for me. But instead of, like, putting on muscle and stuff like that, it came as, like, fat. So I'm not shredded. Like I thought I was going to be. I'm strong. But. Putting on that extra weight. Comes with a lot of health problems. Like. From time to time I'll have blood pressure problems. And that could come from smoking too. They say oh I'm pre-diabetic. <laughs> Some doctors say that. Some doctors say either you're diabetic or you're not. What the, What is pre-diabetic? So, we're going to see, you know, how this go. So, right now, I'm just about to do some cleaning and stuff like that. I've been having a lot of acid reflex also. So, we're going to check that out. I was taking Prilocet. But, as we know, Prilocet had a lot of problems with it. I don't know if Prilocet, per se, think so. But I had a lot of problems with it and stuff like that. And I was taking it, but I wasn't taking it like that, you know. So, who knows, man. I feel like this is crazy. How did I get to this point um, of wanting to quit smoke cigarettes? I've been wanting to stop. Like, I was contemplating it, thinking about it, stuff like that. Like, all right, you got rid of everything else. And I feel like my game, my overall campaign, my game was better when I wasn't smoking. And then as I started smoking and getting into, like, the street life and stuff like that and drinking and smoking weed, my game started decreasing. But at first, I didn't realize it. And I didn't think it was, but it started going down and down further and further and further and further. And I started thinking about how much money I was making versus how much money I was spending. And it's crazy because you go through a day and not make no money, which you shouldn't do at all. You should make something in a day. But you go through a day and not make no money, but you still spend the money. And you feel like you have to spend that money. And you don't necessarily want anything controlling you. You know, you want to be in control in your game. You get what I'm saying? So. That's basically it, so. Also, now is a great time because I got another baby on the way. I already got one. I got another baby on the way. Coming next month, so I was like, yeah, let me quit. I'm about moving into a house. Supposedly, hopefully, we're going to pray on it. God, please let it happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, you got to pray because anything can happen. Like last time, we had a house ready for us and stuff like that. We was about to move in. We had all the money and stuff like that. But when it came to moving in, when it was time to move in, the house wasn't ready. 
and then it's like they drug their feet. So we ended up having to move into this apartment. We were living at the other house with my grandmother. Yeah, that wasn't necessarily working out, you know what I'm saying? My grandma, she old, older, and she wanted to be in control and power and stuff like that. And it's like, you tripping. But I'm used to it. I know how to handle it. My wife not used to it, per se. And those two women, you know, they bump heads. My grandma, oh, you need to be doing this and doing that and that third. And my wife's looking at her like, you crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. My grandma's sweet. And she's nice and stuff like that, but she controlling sometimes. <laughs> like... I'm the one who cleans out the driveway all the time. No matter if I'm living there or not. But this one day, she just got it in her mind for me to do it a particular way. She wanted me to start at the front of the house and do that first and then do the back. But it didn't matter because I was doing the whole driveway anyway. And the majority of snow, hey, since we're in the city, you don't want it in the back of the house and blocking the driveway out of the garage and clogging out the garage because you got to get in and out the garage, get snow blowers, get shovels and stuff like that. You want to push a lot of this snow out into the street so then when they plow the street, it pushes the snow away. So, she out there yelling about that and stuff. And I'm not really yelling. I don't really. I, she, she a woman. And on top of it, she's an elderly woman. So, why would I yell and fuss with her? She gonna go away. I'm gonna clean up the driveway. You know, but. Stuff like that. That's why we had to move into this little shanky apartment real quick. <laughs> but I never thought it would be like this long to find a place, you know. But that's too subject in hand for right now. So when we move, you know, I don't really want all the smoke in the house and stuff like that. Um, and plus, I want to be healthier. Uh, plus I keep feeling like tightness in my chest a lot stuff like that um, the other day my hand went numb I know it's because of blood circulation and stuff like that my legs be going numb and the cramps and stuff like that you know and I know that a lot of times the cramps come from not getting a lot of oxygen to your muscles and stuff and they'd be like, oh, it's just what? Nah, it's something else going on. Now I've been trying to figure out what's going on. I was going to the doctors all the time, so I was trying to figure out what's going on. So, I'm gonna quit smoking. And we're gonna go to the doctors. I have to make an appointment and figure out what's going on with my life and my body, my health. You know, it's one thing to be making a whole bunch of money all the time. It's another thing to figure out what's going on with your health. So that's what I plan on doing. All right, family. All right, so I'm about to go lay back down for a minute, but I got to get sharp. You know what I'm saying? It's Friday, so I'm going to shave. I plan on growing my beard out, man. What y'all think about me with a beard? Like a big beard. I did it last time, but it was looking crazy. I'm gonna have to get like a little beer brush or something like that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I'll be seeing people with beers. I'll be thinking it's a little cool. You know what I'm saying? But some women like it, some women don't. You know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna see what I'm gonna do. I don't know. We'll see. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna shave my head. 
I think if I start smoking my hair, it'll probably grow back thicker and better too. I don't know. But we'll see. It's like patchy in places and stuff now. I don't know why. It, it's not like that with a lot of my family members and stuff. So I don't, don't know why. Like my dad bought. He started giving me things in the middle and he just started shaving his head. But besides that, they say it come from your mother's side. I don't know no bald people on my mother's side. <laughs> like, if they go bald, it'd be because of choice. But they here is real thick and luscious. So I got to see what's going on with that too, man. We got to get sharp. I used to have braids. I used to have dreads. I got to see what's going on. So... That's one of the things I've been thinking about and been focusing on. All right. So, help me in my journey, world family. Peace out. I'm going to end this video, but I'll come back with more videos. All right. Peace out, world family. So, yeah, man, I just came about the hair store. I had to get a blade for my clippers. I was trying to get a regular blade for my edges, but I ended up getting another cheap blade. But it's cool, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, that's all right. So I gotta do this real quick. I gotta go get my nails done and stuff too. But, um, I'm out here, man. And I'm about to run into the store and see if they still got that speaker that I wanted. Well, I was thinking about getting it. I didn't get it at the time. But I don't know how loud it is. You know what I'm saying? But the headphones I got, it was loud. It was kicking. You know what I'm saying? To be like that. Like, it was kicking, you know? I'm just thumping. But both the headphones I got be thumping, so. I'm about to see. They be having special head, special headphones up here, like some name brand headphones. They be want like five dollars. I like, well, damn. This is what I want right here, baby. One D. What you know about that? Them boats. Hey now. That's what I need in my life. That's one of my dream cars. A boat. Yeah, I think they sold that already. Yeah, they sold it. My God, that. It was right there. Yeah, so that speaker already? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I got no another one, though. Um, I'm, if, if the man comes from Buffalo this, this Sunday. All right. I get which one you because he had some um you wanna see one that was hanging last time? Yeah, that looked like a boom box, yeah. Yeah, I I, I um I asked him if he had some. Uh, Alright. Uh, he said last week he was gonna take some and then he said he didn't have them. He All right. He may get him this week. I'm, I'm attacking him, okay? All right. All right. Good luck. All right. All right. So, I just put in my order. Stop playing with me now. <laughs> I've been to order the camel out this bitch. Keep playing with me. Hey, I ain't got no more camels. I think it's gay. But anyway. I'm mad now. Not really. But yeah. I'm gonna come back down to the store in a minute. Cause they out here out here. You know what I'm saying? But meantime, in between time, hit you when I get back to the house. Alright. So yeah guys.
I'm here at Urgent Cure, man. This young crazy. Man. This used to be like an emergency room hospital. They still use facility as urgent care and stuff like that. But let me show you what's going on right now. They took x-rays. I don't know what's happening yet, but let me show you. You got me embracing stuff right now. Like easy halfway off. I can't get it back on. I've been like trying to put my shoe on. I can't reach it. So I'm just going to go out like this. Stepping on the back of it. Good thing I got my work Yeezys on. I knew I was putting work shoes on. But I should put on some foot socks. That would been easier. But I wanted that ankle support. <laughs> True story. So, Jay's supposed to be um, picking me up. And I got to call it when I get done. My wife, you calling me. Good thing I took some, like, some leave before I left. No, so it's not too much. But it hurt, it hurt, but it's, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. And I keep feeling like the needle points and stuff now, and like sharp pains, like a little stabbing here and there. And I don't know either to keep it up or down. It feel better when it's down, but then it start going numb when it's down because of the chairs and stuff like that. You like right up against the leg, pressing up against. You know, blood vessels and arteries and stuff, so. So I gotta go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, now I'm outside, man. I'm done. That's why I go to St. Mary's for little stuff like this. So you be in and out. If I was that strong, man, I'd be there all night. They wanna let me go. So they knew what was wrong. See what um, St. Mary's if it get worse, then you go to the hospital or something like that, or you call them back and stuff. But it packs you up real quick. Give me a little brace and stuff. See, so I can put my Yeezy back on stuff like that. Got my little crushes. Now I'm outside smoking cigarettes right from right. It was only like an hour, man. It only took an hour. I wanted to hurry up, get back home, so I can get some rest. But I got some flexor rod at the house. I might take that. See what happened. She was telling me to take the ibuprofen to um, get the swelling down and stuff. But that flexor rod, I know it'll knock it out. Flexor rod ain't no joke. I'll knock the um, muscles for this out. But that's another thing. I don't want to fall asleep all damn day. Talking about sleep? Man, I want to wake up to tomorrow. My wife like, I was in here struggling with the baby and stuff. She hurting. Her arm messed up. But both her arms messed up. Now, she would be told, one was um, already messed up. But the other one, well, the one that was messed up, messed up even more. And then this one messed up. The other one messed up. And then she hurting with the baby in her stomach and stuff. This young crazy. So I got to try to, like, stay up. I'm going to take a half a flexor roll. <laughs> Y'all know, I figured out, but it's hot outside, too. It's real hot. It's, like, 90 degrees right now, so. I'm go back, chill up under the AC for a minute, so like that. Desire sleep, the baby sleep. My wife's going to be asleep. I'm going to go to sleep. And then, hopefully, I'll wake up later when the baby wake up. I'm going to find a way to sleep comfortably and relax my leg. So it won't be hurting so much. I'm supposed to be following up with the orthopedic doctor. I don't know how I'm getting there. And here go Gigi, so I'll be back. So yeah guys, I'm back at the house right now, back at the pad. Laid out with my braces on and stuff like that. I took a little flex for all. It ain't really working like that. It's a lot of pressure on my leg. Feel the pressure so what I'm about to do is try to go to sleep, get a little nap in, whatever stuff, and it's pulled up now, so I don't know what I'm about to do, but shit, I gotta do something. Oh, I try to get some more, man, I can't, I'm hurting, man, sorry about that, I was supposed to do some stuff for Father's Day tomorrow, but I gotta see what happened, man, because I'm all fucked up, so I'll let y'all in this view right now.
Peace out, world fam.